and welcome to the second video of the mentor mentee internship program this program is initiated by the team right apprise myself priya singh the mentee for this program and the mentor varshika choudhary is guiding me for the technology python this is the second lecture of the python technology in this video we will discuss about the basic syntax of python Firstly, we will start from the keywords. So, keywords are the reserved words and they cannot be used as constant or variable or any other identifier names. Here, the list shows the uh, keywords that are used in Python. They are assert, break, class, continue, and etc. These keywords cannot be used as an identifier. Means they cannot be used to initialize a value or cannot be used. to declare any uh, name so uh, so now we will see identifier identifier is a name used to identify a variable function class module or other object means it is used to initialize and declare any name the following are the rules which must be uh, uh, followed in order to uh, declare any name or identifier that is Uh, a letter capital a to capital z must be used or a letter small a to small z be used or an underscore must be used for the first character of a of a word so they are followed by zero or more letters underscores and digits 0 to 9 means after using these three words in any of the uh, identifier we can follow it by any uh, letter or digit or any of uh, or any of the punctuation characters like at the rate dollar or percentile but uh, these uh, but these punctuation characters must not be allowed as a first character of the identifier also python is a case sensitive programming language means here see capital a n d y n d and small a n d y n d are the two different identifiers now according to the above rule here these three rules we can see this example see the first rule says that first letter must start with a capital alphabet so here and d is an identifier the second rule says that first letter must start from a small alphabet so here goes have the first letter as a small alphabet the third letter says that an identifier must start with an underscore so this also follows the rule so this is also an identifier okay now we will see the uh, example of identifier so here yeah, written the uh, uh, initialize the identifiers with the and with engineer girls with two and underscore with effective engineer is a string type value two is an integer type value and effective is again a string type value so when we print this uh, and girls and underscore code we get this following output here we get engineer then two then effective but we have make an error uh, we have written an error code here we have uh, declared at the read boys and initialized with an integer value 3 so what we get here we get a syntax error why because we started the first character with at the rate which is not the rule uh, to uh, to declare any identifier now the third one is lines and indentation Python provides no braces to indicate blocks of code for class and function definitions or flow control. Blocks of code are denoted by line indentation which is rigidly imposed. All statements within the block must be indented the same amount. Okay, so we will see this by an example here. So here I have written one example a is equals to 7 b is equals to 5. Then we have used if else loop. Here for the condition is given a is greater than b. and two block of statement is passed in if if statement that are print a and print a is greater since we have used here one space in both of this uh, statements this shows that this both statement is a block of, uh, is a code of if statement again we have used else else here and given one space in both the statement 
this also shows that this block of code belongs to else statement thus we get output 7 and a is greater since a is greater than b and this block of code belongs to if statement now we will see that example on a notepad but here I have made a little change and that is I have not given the space here no notation for the else statement this is because to show uh, that how lines and indentation work see here for if statement I have given two space so the uh, so it is clear that this two block of statement belongs to if statement but I have given only uh, space in one of the statement for else statement, not for this. So uh, it is uh, it is that uh, this print b is greater uh, is out of the uh, uh, out of the code of else statement. Thus, when we run this program, we get seven a is greater this output, and then it ignores else this, and then it identifies this as out of the uh, out of the else part. So it prints b is greater than again. Now we will see comments in Python. A hash sign that is not inside a string literal begins a comment. All characters after the hash and up to the end of the physical line are part of the comment and the Python interpreter ignores them. That is, whatever the code we write in hash, hash after hash, it, it is ignored when uh, they are run. Because, uh, because it re reads only the code before the hash. We write this to make the code, uh, we write this part to make the code more clear and what the code is about. Okay, so uh, this code gives the output hello python. Now we will see input and output, output in a python. To take an input from the user, input function is used. To print output on the screen, keyword print is used. So we will see it with an example. We have uh, used input function in, and uh, uh, printed there enter any value. And we have uh, initialized, uh, initialized it in the variable n. Now we have printed this value on the screen. We will see it on a notepad. See, we have written the same program which we have explained in a uh, example and also we have used comment here input and output we can clearly see when we run the program that nowhere input and output is printed why because this input and this output is a comment on the other hand we can see that this input function uh, asks for a value and here we have uh, inputted the value 34 which is, which is an integer type value and then printed there uh, printed it and it printed the va that value Again, we have taken uh, run the program and taken uh, a string type value. Okay, it again printed that value. Then we have taken the float value and printed it. This shows that uh, Python uh, that this input uh, function supports all the uh, integer string and float type value. It can take any type of value and we can easily print it on the screen using the print keyword. Thanks for watching the video. Please watch our video 3 to cover the further topics.